Hello YouTube and welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. I am Banded Wendy, your Tuesday vlogger. Today is July 6th, 2010. Welcome. Today's topic is on exercise. So, uh, been loving, again, all of the response videos and the awesome comments uh, and all the community involvement um, with the recent topics. So I encourage you all to keep them coming because uh, I'm learning so much and I know if I'm learning then somebody else has got to be learning too from each and every one of those comments and response videos. So thanks again and I hope to see more this week because exercise is the topic um, and I know for myself this journey a huge component has been getting over my fear of exercise and facing it and taking it on and owning it and making it a part of my daily life. So I encourage you to grab a pen, as always, and a piece of paper. Uh, these are the week's questions or topics, and I'll read them off and then I'll give you my answers. Uh, tell us about what type or types of exercise that you do, and the frequency that you do them. Um, the weight loss surgery success rules that I have say 30 minutes a day, 7 days a week, and or 210 minutes a week. So what exercises do you do and how often do you do them to hit that mark? Uh, are you hooked on exercise? What was it that got you hooked? What benefits do you get from exercise? Is it something you think you'll stick with for the rest of your life? Do you stick with one form of exercise or do you like to vary it up and mix things up a bit? So jumping right into my answers. Types of exercise for me. In the beginning of my journey it was walking. Walking the dog, walking the neighborhood, getting on the treadmill, um, walking um, for 30 minutes and then I found the couch to 5k program c25k.com nine week uh, running program to get someone like myself a couch potato off the couch and through a series of three workouts a week 27 workouts total in the nine weeks be able to run a 5k race I did that program it changed my life um, I now run um, 5k at least five times a week that's 3.11 miles on the treadmill and my goal was to get my 5k time under 30 minutes and I have done that um, last year I ran I believe three uh, or four three 5k races my goal is to run six this year and I'm more than halfway there um, so I'm going to meet that goal and um, Running for me, um, I have the lap band, uh, you know, we guaranteed one to three weeks per loss per week um, with the lap band itself. Uh, I incorporated exercise and I lose on average one to one and a half pounds per week. So exercise is very important for me. Um, I also am a self-pay, had a fear of doing um, ab exercises, also didn't want to have much loose skin. Um, and so running is the best uh, full body cardio workout uh, and it has reshaped my body. So that's the reason I chose running and I actually like it. Um, the frequency when I started the couch to 5k it was three days a week. Um, now as I mentioned I can go anywhere from five to seven days a week with running. I also do strength training. Uh, I started strength training about six months into my journey. Um, and I do that three times a week. Uh, since October of 2009, I've been doing um, the machines, uh, the circuit machines at the gym. Um, and uh, it's helping me tone up and making me stronger. And I'm going to be starting, and I've increased my weight and I've increased my reputation, repetitions. Um, so strength training and running. Strength training three times a week, running five to seven days a week. Am I hooked? Um, you know, I still sigh, a deep sigh, as I walk up the stairs to the gym. Um, but I am hooked on the feeling of accomplishment, the feeling of success, the feeling of I did what I needed to do today to ensure my weight loss surgery success. Done. Check it off the list. Um, I feel power. I feel confidence. I feel self-love. Um, I'm sweaty, um, and, I, and I know again that I, I've, I've done the right thing for myself. So there's a lot of power in the exercise, and that is really why I got hooked, right? 
the feeling that I get after the exercise, uh, and the and the and the this feeling I get when I see the scale move because I know I did the right thing and I did the exercise. Um, the strength that I have now doing things that um, I would have been winded doing before. So what got me hooked was all that. Um, not the actual exercise, but the benefits of the exercise. Um, and those are the benefits for me. And I also think it gives me a more positive outlook, um, keeps me happier, gets those endorphins going, going. and I also think it uh, curbs hunger. So there's a lot of benefits from exercise outside of seeing that scale move. Um, but I like them all. Do I think I'll stick with it? The reason I run on the treadmill is because I want to run for 20 years. Uh, and I've read a lot of different things in various running forums. Those who run on the pavement only have about 10 years of running on their knees. So yes, I want to be that old lady who's still going out from her 5Ks. Uh, I've done a lot of races and I see a lot of old ladies out there. And I, I want to be one of them because uh, it will always help me with my maintenance and or weight loss. It'll, it's good cardio health. And I feel good, and it, there's a community, there's a spirit among runners, and I like that. Um, I do vary up uh, my workouts. I mean, I'm always going to run, and I do my strength training. Occasionally, uh, some fellow YouTubers will pull me out um, into a class at a gym, a, a Zumba class, or a cardio dance class. Um, I like body pump as well. I've done yoga, I've done Pilates. Uh, this portion of my journey, the last second half, I should say, of 2010, I'm changing up the exercise, going back to the couch to 5K and doing it on an incline. To this day, I like fat and fast, flat and fast, but I'm going to start doing an incline to, to work on some different muscles in my body and to give me a different type of endurance and strength. Um, I'm also going to start doing some free weights along with the machines. I feel like I'll be able to target more on some of the muscles I want to focus on. Um, and uh, I'm going to go uh, check out the Jillian Michaels DVD. I have a friend who has that, Lauren Taylor, 87. And I want to try Jillian out and see how that goes. So, and I have a Wii and I use that every once in a while. So I mix it up because I don't get bored. But for me, I know that running and strength training are essential. So those are my basics. And then anything else from there is bonus, right? So um, exercise has become a part of my life. Um, it's like brushing my teeth. Uh, paying taxes, waking up in the morning. You gotta do it. And uh, it is so phenomenal to see yourself transform knowing uh, that that's one of the benefits of exercise. So I encourage you all to get out there, do something different, or keep on doing what you're doing. Whatever you gotta do to stay motivated, make exercise a part of who you are. So um, tell me what kind of exercise you do. What am I not doing? What should I try? Um, I'm always curious to hear what the new, latest, greatest stuff is. And if you have any great um, free weight exercises that you know work for uh, triceps, I would love to see what they are. Tell me about them. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.